Hello everyone, this feels kind of weird because I feel like I haven't vlogged in a really long time, well, since December, but still, um, even then, I felt like I was in a blur of like, <laughs> juggling this new life as a parent and I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm still figuring it all out, but I was so desperate to like sit down with my camera and just do some kind of like chatty life update doing my makeup here with you guys and just check in and just say hi. So first of all, this lighting is possibly the most unflattering lighting in the world. I've turned on the lights, the main lights, um, to see if it would make any difference and warm it up slightly. It hasn't. I just look pale and ill. <laughs> it's a really like grey day today and I feel like that is really reflective of my face and just my appearance in general. <laughs> I spoke about this on my Instagram the other day. With the many joys of being a first time mum, one thing I was not quite prepared for was the lack of time that I would spend on myself and my appearance, which don't get me wrong, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily that high maintenance. I don't spend that long on myself in general anyway. Um, I'm a girl who washes her hair once a week because I just can't bear to spend too long on it, for example. After having Otty, that time has been massively reduced and any time that you do get, uh, you use it for other things. You use it to clean clothes, to tidy the house, to make the bed, to brush your teeth, brush your hair and jump in the shower as like a really basic <laughs> getting ready. And catch up on sleep and eat food and like go to the toilet. <laughs> like there's so many other things that you prioritize over yourself. And even in that sense, if I do have time to prioritize myself, I'm scrolling my phone because I just need a minute to recharge or as I said, jumping in the shower or having some food and doing things that don't necessarily involve my appearance. Because, you know, it just, it's just, it falls to the bottom of the priority list. Um, but that does mean that I'm kind of feeling it. Like I'll walk past the mirror and be like, oof. Like even the fact that I'm starting this video with nothing on my face right now is slightly terrifying me. <laughs> Just the the confidence is, is down here right now. I know I will get to a point where we have like a little bit more of a routine and I have specific times in the day where I know I can spend all that time on myself. But right now, that is fair and far between. No, what's that saying? Few and far between. <laughs> this morning, I do have a bit of time. Otty's down for a nap, Alfie's downstairs. And I was like, right, I'm grabbing my camera. I'm doing my makeup. I'm having a little chat and I think I'm gonna feel good about it. Also, if you are a first time mum or even not a first time mum, just a mum in general who understands what I'm saying right now, please leave me a comment. <laughs> Tell me you feel the same, even just to reassure me that it's not just me. I mean, I don't need to know if it gets better or if it just stays like this forever. <laughs> I just like knowing that there's other people in the same boat. It's very reassuring. And if you are someone watching this going, why do I feel this way? Am I ever gonna walk past a mirror and think, you're looking good? Don't worry, I feel like that too. <laughs> not that I like walked past mirrors and thought I looked great beforehand, just as an FYI, <laughs> but I walk past mirrors now and think, ooh, ooh. <laughs> because let me be honest with you right now, most days are spent like this. Most days I don't get to put makeup on. So if you're looking at my Instagram or you're watching a video, I just want you to know that 75% of the time, my hair's not even in a, in a neat bun. I don't, I don't even have earrings on. I'm not even really properly dressed. I'm just wearing tracksuits or my pajamas. <laughs> that is real life. You guys don't want to watch videos of me just like <laughs> mumming in tracksuits because I think you'd probably start to get bored. Um, but I just want you to know that that is the reality. Right, I'm gonna start with this. This is actually upstairs and I hadn't used it yet. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I do get time to do my makeup, it is like the quickest makeup I've ever done. But this is the um, uh, Borean Korean Skin Therapy Glow Cream. Um, illuminating face cream. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on first because I just feel like I need all the illumination <laughs> that there is. 
anything that can give me some sort of glow right now. I'd love to know how your 2022 is going so far. I feel like this is better. I set the camera to cloudy day. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that in my life. But that is better. That is like a, a truer representation of the colour of my face. Still very pale. <laughs> but I'm not as like grey. I don't know what to do with my foundation. I did spot this NARS foundation upstairs. Which is the Tinted Glow Booster. So it's like a tint. Um, so I think I might try this. Um, with some of my beloved Collection Lasting Perfection concealer, which I've been using for so many years now. It's actually ridiculous. I couldn't even tell you how many of these I've gone through. I still love it so much. I especially think since being a parent, I've used more than I have ever used before because the dark circles have um, multiplied. I think I want to start going for regular facials. Now, this might come as a bit of a surprise to you, but I've never ever had like a proper facial. I've never been somewhere that like specializes in facials. Um, I've only ever had one that's like part of a like back massage, <laughs> like with a bit of oil in like a spa or something, but I've never been to like a proper, proper, like sucking all the stuff out of your skin facial so I kind of want to do that at some point um, but I do worry that it's the sort of thing that once you start it you never ever want to stop it <laughs> um, but I just feel like my skin needs it right now I feel very um, congested in the old skin especially because my hormones have been absolutely all over the place my skin has really like suffered from that I feel like my skin was actually quite good towards the end of my pregnancy um, which is probably why now getting spots again <laughs> I'm like oh my god what is this hmm that's quite nice it's not as dewy as I thought it would be but it is nice also in a couple of my last videos a few of you have and I, I didn't I'm just gonna say I didn't want to point this out because I didn't want those of you watching my videos to stare at it or notice it as much as I do and trust me, it drives me mad. Um, and a lot of you actually commented on it in a couple of my videos uh, a while back. And I was like, oh, okay, other people have started noticing it, so I should probably just mention it. But now a lot of you that have never noticed it will be like, why did you mention that? Because now I can't stop staring at it. I have this little lump here in my throat. I don't think I've always had it but I noticed it in pregnancy, it became much bigger. Um, I have actually been to the doctors about it and it's nothing, it's nothing to worry about. Um, it does have a proper name. I probably should have looked it up before I made this video. Um, but it, I mean, the doctor said it might go down after you're not pregnant anymore. It also might not. Thank you for those of you that noticed it and pointed it out and just said, just as an FYI, what is this on your face? Don't worry, I've already, been to the doctor about it and it annoys me as much as I'm sure it will now <laughs> annoy you. There have actually been video clips that I just haven't uploaded because it's just so obvious um, but there's nothing I can do about it. it might just go away one day. <laughs> now I am going to use, I think I might use this, this is the Bare Minerals Warmth, um, probably one of my favourite bronzers because it's just like the perfect shade of brown with a hint of like red so you feel as though you have actually got like a real tan i don't know if you can see that just on one side it just looks so much better i am so excited for spring and summer I feel like I just need a bit of sun <laughs> especially because we haven't been on any sort of holiday for two years <laughs> I'm hoping fingers crossed 2022 is the year we get to go on a holiday and that we can take Otty and it will be really lovely
I have been loving using this, which is the Natasha Denona Bloom Highlighting Blush. I like a blush that has a bit of sheen to it. Um, so that I've been using and loving, but I also did grab this from upstairs. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit. I've basically been doing that thing where I've just used the same makeup every day <laughs> and I got really excited that I was gonna sit down and do my makeup. So I went upstairs to like more of my makeup stash and I picked this out because I love an hourglass powder or blush or bronzer. Um, so I think I'm just gonna do like a swipe of everything maybe. I just went in for these two. The top one is the iridescent light and the bottom one is the blush lumiere and the luminous flush down the nose okay so that i'm happy with that's face done i'm gonna do my brows now i basically do the same thing with my brows every time if i'm not using a brow pencil which sometimes i do like to use for ease so i always use the anastasia dip brow pomade and i'm also using the spectrum katie jane hughes brushes love them um, and then I'll take the little angled brush and I'll just dip it in the pomade and fill in my patchy AF brows. <laughs> I actually got my brows done the other day and even just that made me feel slightly more human. It was great. <laughs> yeah, I've always just had these like little holes in my brows. I think it was from like majorly over plucking them in my teens. Um, and I think in some areas they just never grew back and i kind of wish i never over plucked them but it was the it was the trend back then you know everyone did it like thin brows were a thing at least in my friendship group anyway <laughs> don't know if it was everywhere so i mostly just try and fill in the gaps and put a bit more color through the front of my brows and then using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze, which is very good. If you comb your brows or you like to set them in place, you will love this. So I just dip the spoolie in it. I have to make sure I wash the spoolie a lot because it gets very clogged. Then I just kind of brush them and like set them. Just so they look like they've got a better shape. I don't think you can see that. But my brows are done. Okay. Moving on to eyeshadow. I actually did a cult beauty order. Because I found myself reaching for really old eyeshadow palettes. And just using like the same colours. And I was like why don't I just make a little palette. I saw this when I was just browsing for like new makeup to buy. And it's the Hourglass curator three shadow palette so you can just buy this tin and then you can just pick which shades you want to like pop in so i mean i couldn't tell you the shades because i have no idea how i can get these out and put them back in again without destroying them i'll check my purchase history and i'll write them in the description box but these are the three colors that i picked i've gone for like quite a warm brown um a little bit more of a dark brown and then like a pinky champagne um kind of it's not really glitter shimmer i literally get the brown the kind of like more um ashy brown and i'll just literally there's no mirror in this i'll just literally swish that around my entire eyelid kind of want to go for a walk today i need to like just get some fresh air i think even though it's not the nicest of days. I also just wanna to say to those of you watching this right now, thank you so much for being so patient. I feel like you're all just the best bunch of people, viewers, community, however you wanna label yourself. Um, because, I mean, I'm really trying to like <laughs> work out some kind of work um, and personal life balance, which doing this um, 
career job um, that I do and that Alfie does also does give us the added bonus of picking our work hours and um, choosing how much we want to work and what those hours look like but at the same time it's also a very grey area because we share our life as part of that um, so it has been tricky trying to navigate um, time doing worky things versus being a parent and like just enjoying the time with Otty while she's really small um, and I feel very grateful that we're in a really privileged position to be able to do that and I uh, just am still trying to kind of work it all out so vlogs could be <laughs> a bit all over the place whilst I'm working it out <laughs> but I hope you don't mind that and um, just thank you for sticking with me and just being the great people that you are I really really appreciate it um, and now I'm just putting a little bit of the pinky shade in the corner of my eye and then I'm just going to put some mascara on this is a very hourglass heavy makeup look <laughs> um, the mascara I'm using is hourglass and it is the unlocked ultra black mascara okay there we go I feel like that eyeshadow has made my eyes look very blue lips I'm gonna use this MAC lip liner in boldly bare and I'm just gonna line my lips and then I think I'm just gonna use I'm gonna use this which is probably my most used lip matte lip color um, it's the Tarte exposed struggling to find any more of these um, I've looked online I'm a little worried I'm gonna have to be quite sparing with this because I use it so much and it is like I just feel like it's my perfect shade um, and I try and buy other things that I think might look like it um, but so far I've not found a good dupe for that but when I do I will let you know or if I manage to find somewhere where you can get it <laughs> not a fan of that colour I have to say <laughs> I feel like half the time when you pick up a colour like this to be fair it does look no it doesn't I don't know if you can see that this looks way more orange than this good job I'm covering up with this to be honest okay that's better so I pop that on top and I think that is about as much as I'm gonna do today feeling much more human though I actually did wash my hair yesterday it doesn't look like it because I've scraped it back into a bun but bun life is just so much easier sometimes thank god I changed the setting on this camera jeez um what else was I gonna say oh I was gonna put a little bit of this on actually this is running out I do need to find another one of these this is the iconic prep set glow um did i just inhale a feather in original i literally love the smell of that it reminds me of holiday all done um thanks for sitting and chatting with me and doing my makeup with me i feel like i've just like rambled at you um but yeah once again do really appreciate you being very patient with me and um, as I navigate this new chapter of my life um, and how work kind of intertwines with that and uh, yeah just overall just being a really lovely supportive bunch um, but I also I'm really excited for this year I'm really excited for 2022 I feel really like motivated and inspired and like I want to create it's just kind of trying to find the time to do that we've also got the new office now which we obviously got back in 2020 um and we've obviously been um renovating that 
and then we had like a little bit of time where um, restrictions were eased and people could go back to work then the restrictions went back in again so everybody then couldn't go back to work and then obviously I was on maternity so I wasn't going into the office so I feel like 2022 um, at least I will be able to like see the team and spend time with them and um, be feel like I'm like part of like a team again which I really really enjoy I did a little like um poll on my Instagram just asking you guys what kind of content you liked what kind of content you wanted to see um there were still a lot of you that really liked long vlogs um so hopefully I'm able to <laughs> carry on doing these to some extent they might not be perfect they might not be what they have been previously but I'm definitely gonna try and um get up as much content as I can here um, and I would also love to know what kind of thing you like to see whether that's in a vlog or whether that's kind of like more of a standalone video vlogs although they're quite like off the cuff and I film them like across a week generally take much longer um, because uh, you're kind of taking the camera with you everywhere you go and then I end up with like a lot of footage so sometimes just like sitting down like this or just kind of a bit more of like a chatty style video or something quite specific might actually be a bit easier sometimes i will still be doing vlogs though don't worry what you like to see in vlogs um what kind of content uh you like from me i'm now gonna go downstairs and see what otty and alfie are up to and grab my laptop and see how much work i can get done i'm also very very hungry i only had a yogurt for breakfast um, but now I'm like, I think I need something a bit more substantial because my stomach is about to start rumbling. Now I've sat down and done this, I feel like I'm set up for the day. It is funny because things like doing your hair and like putting on a nice outfit and putting makeup on are not important things in life. They're really not. But it does make a difference to me anyway. Maybe not everybody. I don't think I was quite prepared for that part of like first motherhood <laughs> it's all a learning curve one day i will find time one day i'll have a bit more of a routine and i'll feel like i've got my shit together <laughs> it's just not yet <laughs> i feel like january went really quickly and usually january is the slowest month in the world but i feel like i blinked and it went so fast um i'm absolutely loving spending time with otty and watching her grow and like seeing how quickly like babies go from like being able to do nothing to like starting to develop little personalities and um you know like rolling around and trying to sit up and like grabbing at everything like it happens so quickly and everyone told me this but once you're actually living it you don't quite realize someone once also said to me that the days feel long but the weeks go so fast and that's also very very true um some days it can feel a bit like you're living kind of groundhog day and every day feels the same and you feel like you're kind of just repeating everything um which is nice sometimes when you feel like you need a bit more routine but also not because you're like i feel like i'm just doing the same thing every day is this what i'm supposed to be doing um but it goes by so quickly and it might not feel like it at times but when you look back or you think oh my god was that really two weeks ago like i can't believe she's already doing this and it only feels like yesterday she was doing this um but yeah this like first part of a baby's life i feel like you just blink and everything changes so quickly like even when alfie and i post a photo of her on instagram now everyone's just like oh my god like she has changed so much and she has and every day i look at her i'm like you're changing like right in front of my eyes and it's just the craziest most amazing thing ever um so yeah in terms of like being a mum and motherhood i am loving every second obviously there's hard bits and days where you're like i have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> like most things but generally it is just um yeah such an amazing uh experience and I'm loving it. It's just going by very, very quickly and I wanna be able to just like soak it all in. It's also really weird like thinking back to this time last year, like this weather is instantly bringing me back to being in my early first trimester. 
um, and I keep looking back through my phone and being like, what was I doing this time a year ago? And I like being able to do that. Let's have a look. 2021, there's this picture of me looking very pale with a pregnancy pillow. <laughs> How many weeks was I? Let me try and work this out. I think I would have screenshotted. I was nine weeks this time last year. I feel like this wasn't a good week. <laughs> the fact that all I have really is screenshots of things and TikToks that I've downloaded. I feel like that probably wasn't the best week. Speaking of actually, the video after this, I'm going to put up my third trimester video. I'm so sorry I didn't do it before Christmas. I edited it and then I just felt like it wasn't festive and it would have been so random to just like throw that in there in December. So I saved it um, to post in the new year. Um, so I'm gonna do a little intro to that just for anyone that might stumble upon it and be like, what, she's pregnant again? That's weird. Um, but just for those of you who are watching this who are pregnant or um, who are coming into their third trimester and also just for me to be able to look back on and remember my third trimester and everything that was going on with me and my body and the baby and um, I really really like the video so I'm still gonna share it and I'm also still gonna do my postpartum video as well just just gotta find the time um, so yeah the video after this will be that just for those of you that keep asking me um, when that's going up and yeah I'm gonna go now because I just feel like I've completely eaten your ear off and wasted your time <laughs> so i'm gonna head downstairs and that was easy i just went back through my phone to try and find the um name of this thing in my throat just for any of you that are interested um and it is a thyroglossal duct cyst which i mean i'm not going to go into all the details of it because it's not really that interesting but apparently it's something you're born with and it can just like moved down and enlarged, like mine enlarged when I was pregnant for some reason. Um, and sometimes you can't really see it and then other times you can really see it. It's kind of weird. Um, but the doctor was like, it's not really anything to worry about unless it gets infected or it causes you any issues. Um, and then they can surgically remove it, which just sounds slightly terrifying. But so far it doesn't really, I mean, I don't really notice it unless I'm like looking at myself in the mirror and then I notice it. <laughs> But it hasn't caused me any um, issues and it doesn't hurt or anything. But um, yeah, that's what that is. So a couple of hours have gone past and I have just been sat at my laptop doing lots of Zoella bits and um, had a really great uh, meeting with Danielle, who is the content and marketing manager at Zoella. Um, and we were just going through lots of really exciting things that we've got coming up this year, which I cannot wait to share. Um, a lot of you actually in the Instagram um, kind of deep dive that I did said that you really loved when I showed a lot of the behind the scenes of business stuff and collaborations and projects that we work on. So I will make sure um, that I keep my camera on me for any kind of like fun and exciting projects that we've got coming up if I'm allowed to do like behind the scenes stuff around it. But I always love watching that kind of content from other people. So um, yeah, it's a really interesting side of what I do as kind of like an extension of just creating my own content. Uh, I've just been going through my emails and now I just kind of want to sit down with MasterChef Australia, which can I just say is an incredible program. I actually got really addicted to MasterChef. Um, the UK version when I was pregnant. So in my first trimester when the thought of eating food made me feel like literally so sick yet all I could watch was food shows because I was still hungry like I still wanted food like more than ever but my actual, it's like my brain wanted to eat, but my stomach didn't. Um, so I got really addicted to food shows. So things like Sugar Rush on Netflix. I think I just watched that like over and over. Um, Britain's Best Home Cook. Britain's Best Cook or something. The one with um, Mary Berry and Claudia Winkleman. I bloody love Claudia Winkleman. I'm obsessed with her. Um, she hosts it. And then Mary Berry is one of the judges. That show 
absolutely love it i feel like there's not enough series though they need to like be churning those out because i need to watch more um junior bake-off again is one that i watched a lot of in the first lockdown a new series has just ended which was fantastic um so if you're like me and you love um cooking shows i just find that especially at the minute like i can't put too much of my focus onto something like i don't get a lot of time to like properly sit down and ingest like a really serious kind of series even though i love them um but in the evenings i'm really tired and i want to go to bed but i want something like light and like easy to just dip in and out of so food shows for me are that like i love a food show so master chef i literally went back and watched like as many series as i could in my first trimester and then again in my like postpartum like recovery like stage absolutely did Alfie's head in he'd walk in the room and it would just be another episode of MasterChef <laughs> um and now I've just discovered I haven't just discovered I always knew it was there but I just I don't know I just feel like I had my fill of MasterChef um but MasterChef Australia which I always kind of randomly saw and was like why are there people standing on a balcony like I don't really get it this isn't the same format as the UK one so I don't think I'm gonna like it so I just kind of dismissed it. I was like, nah, it's not the same. And I agree, it's really not the same, but it's so good. There are so many episodes per season and you just get to like find out and love the contestants more. There's so many more challenges. There's so many more, um, like it's just a much bigger production. It's a much bigger scale show than the one in the UK. At the moment that is like my background TV show or like my um, nighttime show that I love watching. So if you're like me and you like a cooking TV show, then definitely check it out. Equally, please leave me your suggestions. I'm pretty sure there's a US Master Chef and there's a not the snoring in the background. I think there's a junior US one, which I also really wanna watch. I think now I'm going to have a bit of a creative session. Um, Alfie has gone out with Ottie to a restaurant, a restaurant, coffee shop. <laughs> They've just gone out to a restaurant in the middle of the day. They've gone out to a coffee shop, um, I think to grab a bit of lunch. And I am gonna do a bit of creative, doodling so anything in my head that i'm like i'd love to create this or i'd love to at least try and put a bit more time into this this year i'm gonna get it on here and then try and make a plan i basically think where in the last like 12 years i've been able to be quite spontaneous with my content i think now that i have otty i have to be a lot more planned and structured like things can't just be as off the cuff as they used to be oh actually that's a point i've literally just noticed an email from my editor emma who says um i'm really excited to be in touch with the paperback cover visual for the magpie society 2 for joy as you can see it wonderfully complements the paperback of book one but slightly moves on with a bit more movement and color um, and then she's attached the um, proposed designs, which look amazing. So I'm excited for you to see that. Um, so I do need to reply to that and just be like, looks amazing. <laughs> and on the subject of Magpie Society 2 for Joy, I just want to say thank you so much for all your lovely um, mentions and reviews of the book. Like it always pops up in my... Um, things I've been tagged in on Instagram and I love seeing um, your reviews and what you thought of it and uh, seeing your reactions to the end. So I'm gonna leave a little link down in the description box. Go down there and check it out if any of you want something new to read or if you read the first one and um, you didn't know the second one had already come out. Um, I didn't actually do a lot of book promo around the time the book was released just because I was on maternity. I had like a newborn, so at that time I was very preoccupied. So just wanted to give it a little plug here um, for any of you that might not have seen, um, but yeah. Thank you so much to those of you who have bought it and read it. It really means a lot to Amy and I. Um, and yeah, exciting times. This is like my brain dump 2022 vlog. If you've made it this far, thank
thank you so much because all I've done is talked at you <laughs> like that you've you've seen nothing of interest in this video I'm really sorry <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go now I'm gonna get planning and um I will chat to you in a bit I fancied myself a little snack and I just had to show you this because is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen but also delicious I was in m &S the other day and they've got all their Easter stuff in already Firstly, I love this packaging. I'm such like a design um, geek. <laughs> I love things like this. And I just feel like they've nailed it. But also, how delicious does that sound? A giant speckled egg bar. Chunky milk chocolate packed full of chalky speckled eggs. And then these orange chalky speckled eggs. Orange milk chocolate eggs with a candy shell. I mean, yes, yes. Um, I'm gonna take these now and try them. <laughs> Probably, mm, maybe I don't open both. Mm, I kind of wanna open both because I wanna have a little bit of orange chocolate, but then I also wanna see what this looks like. You guys know how much I love um, a snack, namely an M&S snack. Um, they have an Easter egg that I have spied. I don't know if any of you follow these Instagram accounts that are like, new sweet food or like new new in food uk um but i was following or i think it maybe came up on my explore page on instagram and there's an mns easter egg that is the um extra chocolatey biscuits the ones that are like more more chocolate than biscuit biscuits the round ones that i am obsessed with there's an easter egg based off of that so it's like a really thick chocolate easter egg in the shape of the biscuit with bits of biscuit in the like shell and i'm gonna make it my mission to try and hunt down this easter egg before everybody else buys it because i feel like it's gonna be one of those things like a lot of things in mns i feel like once someone spies it it's gone you've got to be quick with mns goodies i think that's my neighbor hammering on their house however it sounds like it's <laughs> sounds like it's the side of our house but i definitely don't think it is um anyway i have also purchased already my favorite easter egg ever which is the crunchy easter egg because this also sells out <sighs> it's currently on this shelf i don't know why alfie's put them up here this bad boy which is the easter egg that has the crunchy in the shell and you might notice i have two and that is because one of these is for me and i bought one for mark so there you go ferris i've spoiled the surprise but i have bought you a crunchy easter egg although i will save it and i won't eat mine until i'm with you because i feel like we've made a weird um a weird what's it called tradition where we sit and eat this easter egg together mostly watching the witches i'm not gonna lie and i'm looking forward to the day we do that so i'm gonna save it <laughs> but yeah i got in there early with that one you know me at my snacks it's important <laughs> it's important to me i love a snack okay i'm very unhealthy i have such a sweet tooth <laughs> going in for an egg first Okay, they brought these out last year, so they've just changed the packaging, and I was obsessed. They're very, very good. So interested to see what this looks like. It kind of, looks kind of like a mini egg Toblerone bar. Mmm! Wow! Look at that! That is so cool! Nala? Can you get out? <laughs> oh my god, it's so chunky. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Yes, not that. That's good. Look at her. Oh my god. That's really good. Okay, that's my mini review. <laughs> So even though this is a mostly working day for me, I still have 
a crap ton of washing <laughs> to put out <laughs> or to put out in the basement to dry i feel like baby clothes are just never ending how cute look at these tiny socks these aren't even the tiniest socks she's had <laughs> actually love doing her um washing like way more than my own <laughs> My family are home. Hello. Hiya. 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 Nala. Is that your Nala? Is that your Nala? She's obsessed with Blue's Clues. It's her favourite program, isn't it? You love Blue's Clues. Her face genuinely lights up and she starts giggling when she sees Josh on Blue's Clues. Like, it's the cutest thing in the world. Who's <laughs> that? Do, 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 do. Okay. Crayons. Little piggy one. This little piggy one. You're the way home. Hiya. Hiya. The time is done. Another day. Another day. Do you like I the colour of my? Oh, sorry, <laughs> that was not my intention. Do you like the colour of my? Cat? Whoa! <laughs> Is this because we haven't been on holiday in two years? You're trying to make us look tan. Oh no, my god! No, I've got it on the cloudy setting because I looked on purpose. I looked grey this morning. But you could have just coloured the video in Final Cut. No, there was no saving it. I looked. So you shot like this all day. I looked dead. Yeah. No, you haven't. Yeah, but it hasn't been this orange because it hasn't been Sorry, nighttime. there's not even anything white on the camera. Yeah. Wait, let me... Okay, let me like, change the setting back. Hang on. You now, don't you think that looks really blue? Yeah, but then you can add a nice little filter on Final Cut. Nah, I can't be asked with that. <laughs> I mean, it's just reality, isn't it? Right, I'm going to end today's vlog here, I think. Normally, I film across multiple days, but I feel like I've all I've done is talk today, so I feel like it needs to end somewhere. Otherwise, it'll be an hour Have long. Have you just uploaded one video, like, one day today? Yeah. Jeez. I know. Not like me at all. No. Um, Alfie and I still have to have dinner. But I really want a bath. So I'm going to go up and run a bath. And just thoroughly enjoy it. Take my makeup off. Get cosy. Get into my pyjamas. And just have a lovely, relaxing evening. And then Alfie's going to give me a it's massage. It's pretty late for you. Yeah, it is. Isn't What's it? Going, I've got to be... Oh. I'm meant to be working at my brother in under one minute. Oh. It's 44. I'm meant to be in the... meant to be meeting him at, at quarter to eight. Anyway. Good night. I feel like I haven't really seen you today. And I've You've just been, been straight dad about. mode. Dad... Dadding. <laughs> I've been dad life in. Dad life. You've been... How was your first day working? It was Actually, it's your second day working back. Yeah, back it was working. good. It was good. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. And um, as I said earlier, if you are still here and you have got this far and you've answered any of the multiple questions that I asked you in this video, then thank you so much. Um, and hopefully I will see you again for another video. And don't forget, the next video going up will be my third trimester video. So it will feel quite random, but I still want to upload it. Good night. See you soon. Peace out.